Hello, everybody. Welcome to another episode of the Handgun World podcast. Actually, this is episode 607, also being brought to you on YouTube. This is a practical show done by a practical guy. That is me. So this week, I got something pretty interesting to talk about, an experience that happened to me over the weekend on lots of malfunctions on my gun. I'm going to be talking about that in just a minute. This show is brought to you by Keepers Concealment. If you are in the market for a really good appendix carry holster, these are some of the best. Keepers Concealment, they have a nice wedge design to help hold this into your body. And this one here is for my Glo for a Glock 19 and my Shadow Systems MR920 fits into it just fine. Check them out, keepersconcealment.com. And because you are a listener and a viewer here, you get a 10% discount on their holsters just by using the coupon code HANDGUNWORLD. One word, that is HANDGUNWORLD. I'll put that also in the notes below this video and below this podcast link. So I shot IDPA on Saturday. International Defensive Pistol Association. I shot this gun, my Shadow Systems MR920. For those of you watching it on YouTube, this is the Elite, the MR920 Elite. Uh, excellent gun, but there are some challenges here. And it's not the gun's fault. It's my fault, the user. And I'm going to talk about what happened here. And it's all about magazines. Magazines make a huge difference. And Choosing the right magazines makes a big difference. Now, I'm kind of stubborn, and I did not listen. And Shadow Systems recommends these, uh, let me find it, here it is, these Magpul magazines that come with the pistol. You get two of these when you buy the gun. They recommend these magazines for this gun. For those of you watching on YouTube, you can see that. Now, I didn't listen, so what did I do? I shot the IDPA match with Glock magazines and really old Glock magazines. These things are about 16 years old and I've never cleaned them. I've never maintained them. I just wanted to see, you know, I wanted to see how long these magazines would actually last. So let me tell you the backstory. I got these uh, in 2006, 16 years ago for my Glock, my third generation Glock 19. I bought, I think I bought a whole bunch of them on sale, like about 10 of them or 12 of them on sale at a gun show. And I've been purposely doing this. I've been purposely putting these in my training rotation and it's been 16 years now and I wanted to see how long they would last. I've got four of them like this and I got the Pierce base pads and if you can see I even, I stippled the base pads. Kind of hard to, to see this here on camera, but I did stipple those base pads. These are the Pierce Grip, I think. Uh, these do not add any rounds. This is the plus zero, but what it did is it gives a place for my pinky to rest when I was shooting a Glock 19, actually for my, my weak hand pinky, and I, I liked that. Okay, so these made it into my carry rotation. Well, when I went to shoot at IDPA, last weekend. You see this uh, MR920 Shadow Systems? I put in the supplied magwell. See the magwell right here? Okay, I put that on. That comes with the gun. That's one of the cool things is Shadow Systems gives you a magwell. A nice magwell. A magwell that actually helps get a better grip on the gun and it, and it aids in the reloads. Well, there's a problem. And I didn't realize it right away, but every time I was shooting, I'd shoot about two rounds and the magazine would just drop right out of the gun like that. And I'd fix the malfunction, shoot another two or three rounds, and the magazine would fall out again. Very, very frustrating. It kept happening over and over again. Extremely frustrating. Here's the problem. Can you see what the problem is? You may have heard the problem. Let me show you. Okay, listen carefully. I don't know if you heard it, but now compare that to the Magpul magazine. You hear how that Magpul magazine just clicks right in there? I mean, it's a positive click. Whereas with the Glock magazine with the Pierce Grip extensions, 
No, it doesn't just click right into place. So what was happening is because of this magwell surface right here, I'll move it over here. Because of this magwell surface, it does not allow these magazines, these Glock magazines with the extension, to fully seat. And because they could not fully seat, they kept popping out of the gun while I was shooting the gun. With the normal Glock magazines with no base pad, they click in sort of. And one of the reasons is because this magwell right here, this magwell seems to be stopping the, the magazines from seating completely like they're supposed to. No problem with the Magpul magazines because look at their design. Their design, they have a base pad that is just perfect for inserting into this pistol with the magwell. So beware, one of the problems with a magwell is you got to make sure that you're using base pads on your magazines that have enough of a lip right here. Have enough of a lip so that everything can clear the magwell. See, that's a perfect fit. So what I noticed is as soon as I switched over to these magazines, I had no malfunctions. As soon as I switched over to the Magpul magazines, I'm going to be buying a lot more of these Magpuls. I only have four of these, and I have two Shadow Systems guns. So what am I going to be doing? Placing an order for probably four or five more of these for the MR920 and another four or five magazines for the DR920. That's going to give me a good supply of magazines. This is also very important in self-defense. You know, the last thing that you want when you're defending yourself is to press the trigger and the mag pops out. Okay? And you got a single shot pistol bad bad stuff so beware i've heard people say well the magazine's rarely ever the problem with a um, with a semi-automatic gun the answer yes and no uh, a very well-known trainer in the industry recently put out i saw a facebook post and he said well very seldom are your magazines the cause of a malfunction i would have to disagree I would have to say it's probably more often than you think. But this time it was user error, but it was user error regarding the magazines. Be careful of the base plates that you're using when you're using a magwell. If you don't get that real good snap into place like that, then you could be actually causing malfunctions. So, now, also it has to do with the fact that these are 16 years old, never been cleaned, never been maintained. I have not changed the spring. It's, I probably put an insane amount of rounds through these Glock 19 magazines. I got four of them like this. I'll bet I probably put, you know, maybe 10,000 rounds through each of these magazines. Uh, okay, let's, let's shrink that down probably to 8,000 in about the last 16 years, okay? Uh, and they've been thrown in the dirt, they've been thrown in the mud, I've gone through numerous training classes with these. I think I've taken about 10 different classes with these magazines. Man, probably 30 or 40 competition matches, maybe even more. And it, it, these things have been abused. These magazines have been terribly abused, okay? so. They're not in great condition. It looks like it on camera, but it's not. When I take this apart, it's I'm sure it's going to need a new spring. I heard people say, well, I got 40-year-old Glock magazines that work. I don't know how hard you run the magazines and how much you use them, how hard you run your guns. But if you run them as hard as I do, and it's not so much the round count, it's the abuse that these have taken in rain conditions, in mud conditions, sand conditions very dry very hot very cold um you know it's just these things have been stomped on they've been kicked uh maintain your magazines magazines that go through this should only be in your training rotation thankfully these were in my training and competition rotation i'm gonna have to pull these out now uh, it's not even any fun to go to a competition match or training class when I'm having malfunctions all the time. 
with this gun. Now with my third gen Glock 19, no problem. There's no magwell on it, but I'm still going to maintain these mags. I have plenty of Glock 19 magazines. I'm going to I'm going to fix these mags up before I start using them again, even in my third generation Glock 19. Your mileage may vary, but, you know, let me just go ahead and say this. It's okay if you're going to do this when you're in competition or when you're in training classes, because that's when you can afford to have a malfunction and you can figure it out and figure out what the cause is. But not in self-defense, not in self-defense. You cannot afford to have a malfunction of any kind for self-defense. At first, I thought it was the ammunition. Uh, when I first started shooting the match, I was using this, uh, this low-cost steel 9mm. This is Monarch. This is Monarch steel case. And I thought this was the problem. I thought that this ammunition was not liked by this gun. So then I switched to CCI Blazer Brass. Okay? And I thought, okay, this gun's going to like the uh, CCI Blazer Brass, but here's what I did. I put it back in the same old magazines that did not work very well, and that was the problem. So make sure that if you have a Shadow Systems gun and you're using the Magwell, or any gun, it doesn't matter whether it's Shadow System, Glock, Sig, M&P, it makes no difference. H&K, even a 1911. If you're going to use a Magwell like this, take it from me. I just had a bad experience. Make sure you use magazines with a good base pad. Um, speaking of ammo, by the way, I just made a nice ammo purchase. The prices seem to be very reasonable these days. And... I took advantage of that instead of buying a new gun lately. As a matter of fact, I've gone the entire year of 2022 now without purchasing a new firearm, and I'm investing in myself and ammunition. That's going to conclude the video portion of this class. Please make sure... Did I just say class? <laughs> podcast. That's going to complete the video portion of this podcast. Also, make sure you support my other sponsor, that's Concealment Solutions. This is a Cobra outside the waistband holster by Concealment Solutions. Check them out. These are the most concealable outside the waistband holsters that I have ever used. They conceal very well. Concealmentsolutions.com. You can also get 10% discount by using the code HANDGUNWORLD at checkout. Please like this video, subscribe to this channel, leave comments below, and for those of you who are watching the video, I'm going to go ahead and sign off now, but if you're subscribed to my audio podcast, which I hope you do, I'm going to continue with more of this show on another subject. Go to that website, handgunworld.com, handgunworld.com, get signed up. You can also catch it on Apple Podcasts or any of the podcast apps that you might use. Shoot straight, shoot safe. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you again next time.